Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video, we show you how to configure audio and MIDI settings in the standalone version of Complete Control. The standalone version of Complete Control is the application that can be used without a host sequencer. This is useful if you only want to explore sounds and presets or when performing live. Please note that if you are using Complete Control as a plugin in a host sequencer instead, the audio and MIDI settings are handled within the sequencer's preferences. First of all, start the Complete Control application. On Mac, you can find it in Macintosh HD, Applications, Native Instruments, Complete Control. On Windows, it's located in C, Program Files, Native Instruments, Complete Control. Now open the Preferences. On the Mac, go to Complete Control, Preferences. On a Windows computer, go to Edit, Preferences. In the Audio tab, you can configure all the settings relating to your audio driver and device. Under Device, select the audio interface you wish to use. If you are not using a dedicated external audio interface, simply choose Built-in. Under Driver, you can choose which audio driver you want to use with your interface. On Mac, you don't have any other option to select other than Core Audio. On Windows, please select the ACO driver. If you cannot find an ACO driver in the list, go to the website of the manufacturer of your audio interface to download the correct driver. In case you are using the built-in sound card of your computer, you can install the free ACO for all driver, which will enhance the sound card's performance significantly. You can find a download link and a setup video for ACO for all in the description of this video. Under sample rate, you can set the desired sample rate you wish to be playing at. A higher value means higher audio quality. We recommend to use 44,100 Hz, which is the standard for music production. Keep in mind that higher sample rate settings cause an increase in CPU consumption. If you are experiencing audio crackles when playing an instrument, you can increase the buffer size of the driver. On the Mac, you can do this by adjusting the slider next to buffer size. On the Windows system, open the ACO configuration panel of your audio device by clicking the Open Panel button and select a higher process buffer size. Please keep in mind that a higher buffer size will cause a longer delay between pressing a key on your MIDI keyboard and the resulting sound. We'd recommend to start with a buffer size of 256 samples and adjust this setting if necessary. After finishing the audio settings, open the MIDI tab. In the input section, you can find a list of all the MIDI controllers that are connected with your computer. Here, select all the available ports of the controller you wish to use with complete control. Now, you can close the preferences load a preset from the browser and start playing your complete instrument.